This President's Month, Nielsen Dodge is out to break all our sales records. We're ready to save you more than ever before. Lease a new 2018 Jeep Compass Latitude 4x4 for just $169 a month. From huge discounts to big cash for your trade to helping you get the credit you need, you're guaranteed to save today the Nielsen way. Plus, with every purchase, you'll drive away with a new big screen TV. Our biggest savings ever are happening all month at Nielsen Dodge. Ram Truck Month. We go to Mount Olive High School for the Morris County Wrestling Championships, and we start at 145 pounds, and it's Travis Tavoso of Del Barton with the takedown in the back points and route to a 6-0 decision over Sean Connolly of Hanover Park. At 152 pounds, watch Vincent Adriano of Del Barton with the second period takedown as he works his way out during his 6-2 decision over Evan Vasquez of Roxbury. Then it's Kieran Calvetti of Del Barton continuing the great start for the Green Wave as he gets the back points here as he majors the decisions Bobby Hortense of Jefferson 11-4. Del Barton's run ends at 170 pounds. Marco Geisha of West Morris gets the two here on the edge of the mat. He gets the call as he would top A.J. Lonsky of Del Barton 4-3. It's great. I mean, this environment, so much competition, good competition. Everyone's going crazy in the stands. The one mat that light on you, it's something. But Del Barton gets back on top of the podium here. Watch Cole crush pain at 182 pounds with the third period takedown of Shane Connolly at Jefferson as he would go on to post the 7-0 victory. At 195 pounds, watch Gage Armijo of Mendham locking up Dave Opus and Matt Olive for the fall in 53 seconds to claim the title. We go to 220 pounds, and it's Lorraine and Lika of Montville with the two here versus Trey Zungombic of Del Barton as he would post the 5-3 win to collect his 100th career victory. Congratulations. At 285 pounds, it's Jaden Davidson of Mount Olive with the takedown on the edge of the mat as he would defeat Wade Drugak of Morris Knowles, 7-2. Now watch Joey Oliveri of Hanover Park at 106 pounds work hard to get the two and route to a 3-1 decision over Nico Nordone of Del Barton. We go to the 113 pound final and it's reigning state champ Anthony Clark at Del Barton with the early points versus Michael Queso of West Morris as he would post a 3-1 decision over Queso. At 120 pounds, Del Barton picks up another gold medal. Watch Alex Straczynski get the reversal here versus Don DeGena of Mendham as he would post a 4-0 victory. Then at 126 pounds, it's the top wrestler in the nation at that weight class, Pat Glory of Del Barton, as he decks Don DeFrancesco Antonio in 140 to win his fourth straight title as he was named the OW. I don't really know how many people have won this tournament four times, but I'm sure I'm in great company. You know, so it's just really humbling and I'm uh, you know, really blessed to be able to part of this great tradition and uh, you know, be able to wrestle this great tournament, so I'm really blessed. And it's another state champ winning a state title at 132 pounds. Watch Nick Ramo of Hanover Park pile up the points in his 21-8 major decision over Sebastian Corrano of Morris Catholic. In the final match of the night, it's Dan Fungaro of Booten with the takedown in the back points as he tops Connor Maitrout of Montville in a major decision 11-3 as Del Barton wins his 10th straight team title with 316 points as West Morris places second. Great competition here. I feel, you know, there's probably four or five guys in my bracket that could be down in Atlantic City, so it's good to have that experience with those guys, and uh, it's a good marker for where you're at.